Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, welcome to our whiteboard session today on getting buy-in from your project team. It's one of the major components that's needed for project success is to have all team members engaged and buying in and working proactively to get things done. So people are always asking, how do I get buy-in from my team? Well, actually, I've learned the most from having the opportunity to work with several nonprofit organizations, organizations who are doing service projects for a specific cause. And so when I looked at those collectively and looked back at some things that really helped me get buy-in for my team, wanted to put those together and share those with you. So there's a general rule that I found in working with different groups, just different groups within different organizations and outside of the corporations also working on these service projects. So the general rule that I found is that people buy into a cause. They want to know that they're doing something for the purpose of, something in service of other people for a greater good. Also, when people um, buy into a cause, people want to contribute to that cause. If it's something that they buy into, they care about, uh, maybe their themselves or their families benefit from there, then they want to contribute. And that's how most people get their fulfillment. So if you bring that towards the projects and how to get buy-in on our project teams, I think there are three components of how to. Number one is setting the vision. Setting the vision. So you, the project manager, you're the lead. People are looking for you to set the vision, be in the forefront and paint a, painting a picture for them. So paint a picture in how your project is for a cause. So even if they're in corporate America um, or for your company or your organization, the project is being uh, allocated, it's being funded, it's having resources for something for the cause. It just may be that your team members may not know that. A lot of times now that we're trying to do more with less people and trying to get things done quicker, sometimes we just cut to the chase and we just start doing tasks and trying to produce deliverables. And when that's done, people really lose the essence of why they're doing what they're doing. So. You as the project manager want to set the vision and paint a picture of what, of what the team and what this project is about. Number two is place them in it. Place them there. Place each person on your project team there in the vision. Let them see, hey, you're, you are important. You are a, an important team member because you're contributing in this role and you are important because. So let them see that they're actually in the picture they're a part of. And again, people want to contribute to that. And then encourage and support them along the way. Uh, the most critical thing for the project manager is always asking, hey, or encouraging, great job. You know, you did a really good job with that. So people are encouraged to continue doing good behaviors you want to continue. And then always asking, how can I support you? Many times with things going on, team members may get stuck Maybe they end up doing things that maybe they're not trained or maybe have never had any experience. So offering to help support them, get them the resources that they need so that they can get things done. So um, I found these are some of the components to how to, and it almost in every case, there's an odd little twist that I've noticed. And again, I've noticed this in working in service projects. And then when I started looking at my other project teams, this happens. The odd twist is when you set the vision, place them in it, and you encourage and support along the way, people feel like they're actually contributing to a cause. Then the odd thing is at the end, they, your project team, they actually celebrate themselves. They celebrate themselves, they celebrate the team, they celebrate the project and the results. So if you've ever noticed, you know, go back and look at some of your projects. They did not expect someone else. They weren't looking to me as the project manager to do it for them. They did it for themselves. If you've ever seen uh, different celebratory movements, say maybe after some, if you look at some of the service projects that you have bought into or seen, they celebrate along the way and they celebrate together as a unit. They're not looking for anyone to do that for them. I found these are some of the most effective things 
uh, that have gotten buy-in for my project teams, and I hope they'll help you too. If you need a tool that will help you set the vision, place your team members in it, and help you provide encouragement and support along the way, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.